Okay, hey collective. So this is gonna be a collective reading, but before I start, I want to say collective like somebody is dealing with a karmic. I'm getting like this karmic is like trying to keep your person. I'm hearing intoxicated or something in regards to this person being like under the influence. They feel like if this person gets clean and sober, then they are not going to need them anymore. Yep, what's going on here with the collective? Yeah, wow, this person also, wow, might have lost their driver's license here as well or something like that here. What's going on here? Yep, what's going on here? This person could be like trying to get away from a karmic here as well. Yeah, somebody is dealing, somebody's trying to get away from a karmic. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, this person's also like being watched or monitored or wow, somebody can have like a breathalyzer in their car here or somebody is being forced to get a breathalyzer here as well. What's going on here? Yeah, this person could be in denial. Somebody is in denial in regards to a situation here. Somebody is also enabling this person here as well. Like when this person is drinking or when this person is drunk, whoever this individual is in a relationship with, like they do whatever they want or they're not paying this person any attention. So somebody is like encouraging this person to drink or something like that. Yeah, what's going on here? What's going on here? Yep, it's some type of drama. Wow. Whenever this person is under the influence, the person that they are in a relationship with goes out and deals with other people. That's what I'm getting here. Yep. Some type of drama. That's what I'm getting, but I'm also getting, wow. This person might have found out. That's what I'm getting, like... Somebody did not expect this individual to like follow them or something like that. So this person could have had a suspicion that the person that they were dealing with was cheating on them. But like I said, when this person would be under the influence, this karmic would like sneak off or something like that. And like this person may have followed this karmic and caught this karmic cheating on them or something like that. Yeah, we have access to not. This person is like moving away from a karmic that played a lot of games with them here as well. Somebody played a lot of games. Or this could be somebody that you dealt with here. You know, a plot of roses, they fit. What's going on here? Yep, you cannot make this up. Somebody is moving away from a sneaky karmic, but I'm really getting like this person will wait till your person was under the influence before they would leave the house and go deal with somebody else. I'm also getting something in regards to drinking is significant or somebody like being high or something like that, but they will wait till this individual was under the influence and then they will leave and go deal with somebody else. Some type of drama. Somebody was in denial here. And this person found out on their own that the person that they were dealing with was cheating on them. And that's what I'm getting here. Yep. Yep. I'm telling you, this person, whoever you are dealing with or whoever this person is, this could be something that happened to you or this could be something that happened to somebody that you are dealing with. But somebody caught the person that they were in a relationship with cheating on them. I'm telling you. This person was like very sly or very cunning in regards to how they caught this person cheating on them here as well. What's going on here? Somebody also like tried to blame something. Wow. Somebody tried to blame something that they did in regards to cheating on another person. I'm hearing it could be on the person that they were in a relationship with or a karmic or something. Yep. It's a lot of gossip in regards to this situation here. 
Yeah, what's going on here? I'm also getting this karmic, whoever this karmic is that this person could have blocked, this person could have blocked the karmic. After they caught this karmic cheating on them, they moved away from this karmic and blocked this karmic. And now this karmic is mad because this person is not dealing with them. So they are telling all of this person's business. That's what I'm getting. So, wow, look here. This karmic. If this karmic was cheating on your person, they're trying to blame it on this person. They're telling all of this person's business. They could be talking about the fact that this person was in debt. You know, a pot of roses, they fit. They're talking about the fact that this person like drinks a lot or did in the past. But this karmic would like try to keep your person under the influence so they can go out and have fun or they could get what they wanted from this person or some like that, they would keep this person under the influence, either high or either drunk, one of the two, and then they would go out and do what they wanted to do, but like now that your person is no longer dealing with this individual and taking their power back, they're telling all of this person's business, they're trying to make it appear as if this person is a horrible person, an alcoholic and all of this, but this person never tried to help this person get clean and sober because they felt like if this person got clean and sober, then they would no longer need them. Somebody wanted another person like codependent on them. So they tried to keep this person like under the influence. This karmic is sneaky as hell. That's what I'm getting. And this karmic was like cheating on this person. Yep. Wow. What's going on here? This person could have lied. This karmic lied to their whole family about this person. Wow. Somebody like, somebody is watching another person here as well. Somebody like wanted to humiliate. Somebody was like trying to publicly humiliate somebody else here. By accusing them of being on drugs or under the influence or drunk or something like that here. This person could have struggled with addictions in the past. Could have used addictions to cope. Somebody could be like trying to clean their life up here. But somebody is upset. This person has a karmic from their past that's upset that this person broke up with them. Wow, look here. This karmic is upset that this person broke up with them, cleaned up their life. This person could have leveled up here as well and took their power back and a karmic from this person's past is angry that this person did this after they broke up with them so this karmic is like trying to like wow i'm here to talk bad on this person that they were in a relationship with but this karmic would like try to encourage this person to drink and do drugs or be under the influence here and this person could be like, this karmic could be trying to enlist their whole family to like destroy. Wow. Yep. Yeah. So this karmic is like trying to get the help of their family to destroy this person. Could be trying to destroy this person's business. Could be trying to destroy this person's reputation. This person could have been in a relationship with a narcissist. And this person could have been using alcohol to cope with the fact that they were in a relationship with a narcissist that was mentally manipulating them, playing mind games with them. This narcissist was like abusive. And now this narcissist is trying to ruin the reputation of the person that they were in a relationship with in order to save face here. That's what I'm getting. And they're trying to enlist the help of their family, flying monkeys, to destroy this person. And it's a lot of gossip about this person here. Could have had people moving away from this person. This person could have been using alcohol to cope with the fact that they were in a relationship with an abusive-ass narcissist. But this narcissist is not telling that part. That's what I'm getting here. This narcissist, whoever this individual is, this karmic that this person was in a relationship with, this karmic is mad because your person blocked them, cleaned up their life, leveled up, could have started their own damn business. This narcissist could have been in competition with your person here as well.
there is a narcissist that was taking advantage of the fact that your person is an empath here and this person did not know how to cope this person could have like i said used alcohol to cope and now somebody is like trying to ruin somebody else's reputation or something like that Somebody is wanting to humiliate another person to their family here as well. Somebody is trying to humiliate somebody to their family and friends or something like that here. Yep. Yep. So somebody is upset watching another person move forward here. And focus on themselves. That's what I'm getting. But low key, this person wanted to work something out with your person. So there is a karmic that like wanted to work something out. This could be like I said, something that's happening to you or somebody around you. But there is a karmic that wanted to work something out with your person. But your person could have rejected this karmic. And this karmic is like trying to destroy this person's reputation here. That's what I'm getting. Somebody is watching another person become successful without them and they're upset because they wanted to be successful with this person. They wanted to be a power couple with this person and this person decided to move forward on their own, started their own business and they're doing something on their own. This karmic is conniving, sneaky, low vibrational and toxic as hell and that is why your person does not want to deal with this individual here. Yep. They're watching this person move forward. Somebody is also telling this person about some working out for your person in regards to this person growing a business. And this person is upset. Yeah, what's going on here with this situation for the collective? So your person was dealing with a, a karmic that like tried to destroy them and humiliate them. And like embarrass them to a community here. Yep. Wow, that's too many. But this person is taking their power back. Yep. This person is taking their power back. What's going on here? Yep. Somebody lied on another person big time here. Somebody is wanting to rush in with some type of childish communication here towards your person. Could be like trying to argue with this person or fight this person here because they're mad. They're watching somebody manifest here and move forward because this person started like taking care of themselves here or started healing. And somebody is upset. So, like, this person is trying to rush in with some type of drama. What's going on here? Yep. Somebody is mad because an emperor or an empress does not want to deal with them and build with them. So, this person is, like, trying to publicly humiliate this person by, like, ruining this person's reputation or defamation of character or something like that. Yep, what's going on here? Law enforcement could have got involved in the situation here as well. Yep, what's going on here? Yep, somebody tried to lead somebody. Somebody went, wow, look here. Somebody tried to destroy somebody financially here as well. That's what I'm getting. This karmic could be like trying to take this person to court because this individual leveled up. Some type of fake lawsuit or something like that, trying to take somebody to court. And this person is about to get countersued for defamation of character because this karmic like lied on this person or something like that, or like tried to destroy this person's reputation. So you have a karmic that's upset that your person leveled up after they broke up with them and moved away from them. This karmic is also lying to their family about what happened when they were in a relationship with this person or something like that. 
That's what I'm getting here. This karmic is enlisting the help of their family as flying monkeys to try to destroy your person's reputation. But I'm also getting, like I said, somebody could be like trying to bring some type of fake lawsuit or janky lawsuit up against another person here. But this person is about to get countersued for defamation of character or something like that here. Yeah, what's going on here? I'm telling you, somebody is really upset because another person broke up with them. That's all it is. This is a narcissist that lost control of their narcissistic supply. That's what I'm getting here. This is a narcissist that feels like they lost control of their narcissistic supply. And this person is having a damn tower moment. And this person is like trying to destroy your person financially by lying on them or something like that. They're upset because this person is doing better, could be doing better than them. Or this person is doing better now that they're not in a toxic ass relationship with this person. I'm getting something in regards to a glow up here. This person could have lost weight. This person's skin is glowing. Somebody is no longer drinking. Somebody that cleaned up their life and the karmic is pissed as hell. And instead of this person taking accountability for being toxic as hell and being a narcissist, this person is like still trying to destroy this individual here. While simultaneously having some type of hold on this person. Because this person, your person, this could be something that's happening to you or this person. But you are in no contact with this individual here. You don't want nothing to do with this person. You don't want to talk to this person. None of that. You could have legit blocked this person here. This person has no way of reaching out to you. So what do they do? They lie to their family about what happened in a relationship. And then they try to bring some type of false lawsuit just so they can have access to you or just because you're not dealing with this person. Or your person is not dealing with this individual here. So this person feels like they still need to have control. Some type of janky lawsuit could be getting thrown out here as well. A judge knows that somebody is like lying on you or something. This is somebody that's upset because you broke up with them. I'm telling you. Somebody is upset because you broke up with them. And you are not dealing with this person. Yeah, your energy is protected. For some, this could literally be somebody getting like an order of protection against the karmic. Somebody could be getting an order of protection against the karmic here. That's like refusing to let go of this individual's energy here. Yeah, we have Monday. Breathing in that good ass prana. Yep. Look here. I'm telling you, this person is now happier than they have been in a long time at the breaking up with this karmic. And this karmic is furious that they no longer have control over your person. I'm telling you. Somebody is having a damn tower moment. This person is like literally like lashing out, having a tower moment because they no longer have control over your person. Because this individual is being protected by spirit. This person could literally be protected by law enforcement. That's what I'm getting here. Some type of order of protection here. And a karmic is upset because they can't get access to this person. Yep. We have don't be afraid to allow your light to shine. So your person is getting out of a karmic relationship. This person was afraid to go out and be their true authentic self and live their life because they were being constantly like monitored, watched or harassed by a karmic that they broke up with.
What advice do you have here? Yeah, we have smile. This person is happy. Somebody is happy. Somebody is single. Somebody is doing their own thing here. That's what I'm getting. And a karmic is like upset because they couldn't destroy this individual or ruin this person's reputation or something like that. They couldn't turn the community against this individual here. I'm going to end it there, collective. Best of luck if this is you dealing with this situation or somebody around you. But this person is getting away from a karmic. That's what I'm getting here. And this karmic is upset. They tried to turn the community against this person. They tried to turn their family against this person. This karmic could have even tried to turn this person's family against them. Somebody tried to destroy another person financially here as well. Somebody wanted to block somebody from being able to grow, move forward without them. Somebody wanted another person in debt and struggling. And I'm getting like this person decided to take their power back, but I'm going to end it there.